Scenes, beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. I hope all is well. Listen, welcome back to the channel. Um, I want to thank you guys who are already subscribed. Thank you for, for rocking with me. And for those who um, have not subscribed, go ahead and do it. What you waiting on? Um, it's just one click. It don't cost you nothing. Come and join us um, on this journey um, of just growing deeper in God and fellowship with him. And so I got to uh, quick something quick I wanted to share so yesterday yesterday being April uh, 21st I went to a concert um, a Lecrae concert and it was fire like Doe was there Doe is amazing um, she was there and then uh, Elevation Rhythm was there this is my first time seeing them fire like fire and then of course Cray was uh, did his thing and so um and so I'm there at this concert and uh, I'm like, I'm, I wanted to go by myself. Like I, I wanted to just kind of, um, but I ended up taking uh, my little cousin and amazing experience. I really wanted her to go to just um, have a chance to worship and, and, and just, just be around like-minded people who love Christ. Um, and so um, we're there having a good time and um, a group of gentlemen, a group of young, young, a group of uh, men sat next to me. Um, fine men. I ain't even gonna sit here and I ain't gonna hold you up. These are some, some very attractive men, uh, black men, um, sat next to me, uh, about three of them, and just was really nice, really, really cool. And the thing that got me was to see these beautiful men praising and work. I'm talking about hands raised shouting like in full worship of God and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen I, I to be honest I've never seen these beautiful I'm gonna assume they were single men worshiping God they didn't have rings on so single uh maybe not married yet maybe they they had you know girlfriends or whatnot but they didn't have rings on their fingers so I'm gonna say they legally single but these men worshiping God and I to today uh saturday i'm i went to uh do a early morning run i've been running in the mornings on saturday mornings and so um running and was talking to a friend and i was just you know telling her how we needed to to uh, about what happened and how um seeing these men it just got me to think that god is um is bringing back his men uh, to be, take their place, to take their place in the kingdom, to take their places in in marriages and home, and I, so I wanted to come on and encourage a lot of us single women to to not stop praying. Um, I, I, I I said, Lord, I, I need a scripture, and I got John fourteen and twelve. I'm twelve through. I'm gonna say through seventeen, and so it says, most assuredly, I say to you. He who believes in me, the works that I do, uh, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If Yeah, no. So we, we going from John... 12 to 14 12 to 14 and that's in the uh uh new king james version and what jesus is saying here listen you ask anything in my name and my authority i will do and so i wanted to tack that scripture on to us as single women making sure that we're asking god listen god is in in is moving in the hearts of men to take their proper place as the head of the house as the head um leading church uh like those men were there worshiping i believe that god is going to influx um the nations um the churches the 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 jobs with men who believe and love him but i think it's all predicated on us doing what john 14 what john 14 uh and 12 12 through 14 says listen ask in my name ask in my authority and so i think as women as single women we can't just be out here I'm, I'm enjoying my single my single season i'm enjoying what god is doing healing through therapy through counseling through 
uh, putting community around me. But because I'm enjoying this season, I know at some point it's going to come to end. I know I'm called to be a wife. And so it's imperative that I'm not waiting to pray for my husband or the men of God when he comes. I should be praying long before he comes that he has the heart for God. And so single women, we have to ask God. Listen, if we ask God to restore manhood, to restore men to their proper place as the head of the house, God will do it. God will do it. There's no if, ands, or maybe. Yesterday was proof to me that God will restore, that God has men and women. If you single out here and you have that mindset of there are no good men, you need to go to God and take that to him. You need to talk to him and ask him to reveal to you that there are still good men, that there are men that are after his heart, that there, there are men out there that love him, that there are men that will cover you, that there are men that will respect you, that there are men who don't cheat, that there are men who will honor you like Christ honors you. There are men that are after his heart and will do right by your heart. And so we got to get to a place where we start believing God to do what seemingly is impossible. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter if you ain't seen no good man. It doesn't matter if, if you don't know a good man, God will bring, can shift your thinking for you to say, I had that mindset. There are no good men. And then God began to work on my heart and reveal to me and show me, look at, look at him. Look at, look at him. Now I'm not saying every good man is for you. No, but we should be praying for our sisters and, and brothers in Christ that they come into the knowledge of the truth. And so I believe as men begin to take their place, God will begin uh, to do great things, mighty wonders in the earth. Um, and I'm not just saying through men's, but I believe that God is putting together kingdom marriage. He told me this years ago, and we're seeing an influx of it, um, of, of, of godly marriages. But it's imperative that we're praying for the body of Christ that we're praying for men because they're they are attack on, on men. I, I can't sit here and lie and say that there isn't there is an attack on, on men. And so we need to be praying that they stay strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And so I wanted to come on and share this to my single ladies. Listen, if you ask of God, he will give you. If you ask for God to move in the earth and the hearts of men, guess what? He gonna do that. Yesterday was living proof of these men worshiping, crying out, hands raised. Um, an outpouring of wanting more of him. And I saw that yesterday and I, I just felt compelled to come on and share this. And so I want us to pray. I want you guys to stay in agreement. I want to pray two things. First thing, I want to pray for the hearts of women who don't believe that they're good men, that God will move in their hearts. Second thing, I want to pray for godly men to just uh, just to, to come to a manifestation um, and, and that God would strengthen them. And so I want you guys to stand in agreement and not just sit here and watch, but to pray with me. So Father God, I lift every person up watching this voice, every single woman who believe that there are no good men out there. God, I pray that you would move in the hearts of these women, that you would remove their hardened hearts towards uh, the ideal of marriage or the ideal of there being good men. I pray that you would open their eyes and ears to hear and see what you're doing in this hour and that you would show them that they're still good men, that they're still good men who love love you, who will respect them, who will honor them, who would lead by the spirit of the living God. Men who are submitted and committed to you and will uh, love their wives and love these women as Christ loved the church. And so, Father God, I pray you move in their hearts. I pray that you soften their hearts to hear what you have to say, that, that you, they're open to how you want to move in their lives and what you want to show them in this season. I just pray, God, that you help their hearts to receive this word, to receive this message, and that you would place on their heart a burden to pray for the men of God, to pray that men come back to you. And then, Father, I want to pray. You said if we ask anything in your name. So I'm asking this in the mighty matchless name of Jesus Christ, in the authority of Jesus Christ, that you would restore men to their proper place, that they would be men that would seek you, men that are not, aren't afraid to get on their face, men that aren't afraid to do the work to heal from the inside out, men that love you, men that can articulate their words, men who aren't afraid to be men, men who stand on truth, men who don't cheat, men who respect their wives, men 
men who don't raise their hands to hit their wives, men who love their wives as Christ loved the church, men who are intentional about their motives, men who have clean hearts, men who have clean hands, men who seek and worship you, men who are after your heart, men who are a reflection of you on this earth and will lead their families in truth and righteousness. Father God, I pray this in the mighty master's name of Jesus Christ that you would just move in the hearts of men and bring them back into their proper place in your kingdom. I pray this in the mighty matchless name of Jesus Christ. I thank you that it is done. Yes and amen. Be blessed people. Listen, I love y'all. Most importantly, Jesus Christ loves y'all. Have a great day. Keep praying. Keep praying for the men of God and pray for the women of God. Be blessed guys. Have a great day. Bye.